You might have heard of the Hurricane Hunters before. They fly into some of the most dangerous, powerful storms and bring us incredible images we would not be able to see otherwise. Those flights provide forecasters like myself critical information to help you prepare and stay safe before it's too late. So we now try to get the aircraft into the storm as early in their life cycle as possible. There's a reason why those spaghetti models start out all over the place and then eventually converge on a similar solution, better data. And when we have aircraft data that makes the models forecast of the track and intensity of the storm, you know, 10 to 20 percent better. Just by me flying, when I take off, the aircraft starts gathering very sensitive weather information. That comes both through the aircraft sensors and my four Doppler radar in the nose. Data is also gathered from the drop zones being dropped into the storm and a wing SFMR to record what is happening on the ocean surface. There are two different types of aircraft that are flying into these storms collecting critical data. The first one, the C-130 from the United States Air Force. The second is on the NOAA side, the P-3. It's also collecting critical data by dropping instruments, but also recording the storm with its tail radar. That's going to take similar to like a CAT scan uh, of the storm, and they take that vertical profile and the imagery they get there directly into the environmental models. And once that data starts flowing, model accuracy improves. Once the storm gets over land, they have a lot of radar stations um, and other ways to get that data. But while it's offshore, aircraft are the main way that we're able to get that data. Remember, models are guidance, not gospel. You should always take them with a grain of salt until the data from the Hurricane Hunter starts to come in. Always consult the NHC and, of course, News 6 when making critical decisions.